that is more album album oriented mm -hmm. than now. So I think that there are characteristics that you kind of look for. And like, oh, even when you're writing a song, I feel like at a certain point, like I'm like, this feels like a second, third song kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it matters less and less, obviously, the way we digest music uh, more uh, these days. But uh, from the artist side, I still feel that like, yeah, I want to make a record and I want to take a journey from start to end. So, yeah, that's just feeling it through. But yeah, there's always, there's little things to think about. There's sort of a common strategy, but it's at the end, it's just feeling it through. Um, I feel that you get to sort of have, um, I was talking about this with a friend last night, but you sort of pick singles that you're going to feature from the album. Mm -hmm. but to me also, the first track of, this, of the album gets to be like a secret single if that wasn't a single. Do you really yeah. know what I mean, so Sleep In opens the record. Mm -hmm. It's not really going to be a single that we promote. But I think symbolically, it is a great open. It sort of leads you in as a listener. If you were a Gamblers fan before, it's something familiar that transformed into a new sound by the end of it. And then the, the, the new record really kind of starts and goes in a totally new direction. So these are the kind of things we think about. I think about it as a listener and what's their journey. And uh, and basically, I'm mostly looking for any energy drops. If there's a point where I'm totally checked out or looking around like, oh, what what? It's like when you're reading a book and you didn't really read that last page mm -hmm. yeah. if I have any of those bump moments I take notice mm -hmm. and um I think we had a similar one and we we did end up cutting a song that even though we saw it all the way through to the end of production we were like okay this this might be a moment to drop out on here mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's right yeah we did have a this wasn't even counting like when we were saying before we had a bunch of other stuff written like the the album was 13 songs long and and then became 12 and like that was like for me like a like um a practice in like letting go mm -hmm. because i really like the song and these two guys didn't mm -hmm. and i was like all right like let's fucking drop it you know what i mean and like that's just i think like just just moving with the energy of, of like not getting stuck on things is like freeing you know what i mean and it was definitely it was the right decision though like now i agree with the decision now but at the time i was like man i really like that song but it it made sense to lose it and the album is better uh in my opinion because of that it takes a lot of guts to make a decision like that you know especially when you believe in it you believe in a song so much and everyone else around you is like D dude like it, that's it's not Russ. it and you're like you're like no it, it but it is and then you eventually <laughs> cave to to them and they unfortunately wind up being right you know yeah. exactly yeah. i texted you guys that morning i was like do you guys really like this one <laughs> <laughs> you were like no no i i took a swing early on i tried to not let it get through to production side i was like this oh, song yeah. we don't do we did it still. And yeah. at the end, once once somebody else spoke up, I was like, all right, I'm not crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, because I remember we we had changed it. We we changed the intro. Oh yeah, we worked on it. Like we, we 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 made we made some concessions, mm -hmm. which that was the right call too, to like chop out the intro. But yeah, I didn't I, I maybe I didn't realize to the extent you didn't like it though. Which, mm -hmm. you know, next time it, to me it was really just that it, feeling. It Whenever I listened to it in sequence, it was suddenly like a Oh, I'm like checked out from like I was feeling uh, energy that's now gone. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm. I, you know, sometimes you can't control that. It's not a songwriting thing, even. It's just like, oh, just the vibe is off right now. I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this song is like completely finished, like mix mastered. It didn't get mastered, but it, it it got like a final mix when we when we sent out for mastering. We had cut it already at that point. So okay. Yeah. Do you Save think it'll be hundred dollars or whatever? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think it'll be released in the future? Are you going to try and save it for another? No? Damn. I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> unless these yeah. guys wanted to do that, but I don't think so. I mean, I don't think it's a terrible song. It was kind no, of a weird that. take. It was called COVID is good. So I was like, that's not <laughs> that's a rough start. It's not like a something. They don't know that you're kidding. That's the problem. Well, I mean, with the, oh. with the with the mask song, I mean, I could have seen it coming. They could have <laughs> went together <laughs> on the album together. <laughs> 